So a few days ago, I asked a question on the community tab of my YouTube channel, and I basically asked whether or not I should start a second channel specifically for crypto and keep it separated from the channel that I have now, or if I should just continue doing what I've been doing and keeping the crypto and the stock market content combined on this channel. Please go ahead and let me know your thoughts. Go ahead and vote on that tab. Please. To let me know exactly what it is you guys want. I do have, seems like two separate audiences. Some of you guys like the crypto more, some of you guys like the stock market more. I'm okay with starting the second channel, but I'd like to know you guys' feedback. So please let me know that and I will make my decision once we get around 50 people that has voted on it. Anyway, let's start this video. So guys, this video, we're gonna be taking a look at exactly what is going on over the past month or so, basically from March, updating you with my Robinhood portfolio and my entire dividend portfolio. We're gonna take a look at where it's sitting at. We're also gonna take a look at what I bought in the Robinhood portfolio and how much money exactly I threw into this portfolio over the past month. Sweet. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, Continue watching and we're getting into it right now. So as you can see, over the past month or so, I've gotten around $776 in gains, which is 3.15%. And if we compare that to the S&P 500, we can see that I am down quite a bit from over the past month compared to the S&P. Also the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, they are all fairly trailing together, looking pretty similar, all in the 7%. And here I am sitting in the 3%, but that's okay, I'm not too worried about it. Looking over the past week, I'm up 1.19%, and over the past day, we kind of stayed flat at around 0.06%, but that's okay. When it comes to some of the biggest updates in my portfolio, there's two major factors as of right now. Number one being, I finally got 100 shares of the QYLD ETF, and this is a covered call ETF. So my total return as of right now is $80, which is close to around 5%, and my average price is $16.48. Now you might say, why do you want 100 shares of this company? Well, because now that I have 100 shares, each time I get paid, which is monthly, sometimes they'll pay twice a month, which is incredible, but now I can buy one whole share of QYLD, with just one dividend payment. Now, am I reinvesting it? No, I'm not. I'm actually getting all back in cash. Cash money, I'm gonna make it rain. That way I can focus on the next set of dividend stocks and or stocks that I wanna get 100 shares of in order to do a covered call or the will strategy on. Now, the second piece is Intel. You guys know that I hold about 10 shares of Intel, which isn't much. It's roughly 1.26% of my uh, portfolio in total but i did want to start buying more and more of this company until they cut their dividend to 12.5 cents which is roughly a 65 percent dividend cut it previously was 36.5 cents so once that happened i sold off one share and the fractional shares that i had in it just to keep it as is again i'm probably not going to be buying any more of these anytime soon but I will keep it in my portfolio to keep an eye on it. I will have to look into the future of this company to see if I want to buy more of it. And let's drop down how much money I'm getting paid every year through dividends. Speaking of dividends, let's see how much money I put into dividend stocks over the past month, which is in March, the month of March, should I say. So March purchases, we bought QILD, we bought 13.3 shares of QILD, for $222.75. We bought VTI uh, 0.14 shares at $28.26 and SCHD 0.13 shares at $10 even. Bringing my total up to $261.01. So that's how much I put into the Robinhood portfolio over the past month of March. Taking a look at now what this kind of did to the overall track your dividends portfolio, which is my two portfolios combined. We're now sitting at $26,420, which is pretty, pretty awesome, right? We're getting closer to that $30,000 mark. Now my portfolio yield is 3.44%, which it has gone up over the past few months because I've currently been focusing on higher paying dividend yields. Yield on cost is 3.46%. Now my annual income is now at $910. Previously, it was at around $890, so I got about $20 of annual income. 
added over the last month or so. And while we're in the Track Your Dividends portfolio, let's go ahead and see my biggest profits and my biggest losses. So my biggest loss as of right now is my MJ uh, Marijuana ETF. And I'm down 1200 bucks on it, which is around 70%, but that's okay. I'm still gonna hold it for the long term because I do still believe in the cannabis industry. Now, we can also see charge point is right, well, how about half of it, right? And then we have uh, A, G, and C. Now, taking a look at my biggest profits, we can see Apple is $700, XOM is $550, is $561 and it just goes on and on from there. I do have quite a bit of stocks in the green, which is good. That's what's kind of pushing, helping push my portfolio forward. Now, taking a look at the smallest dividend payment I get in the entire year is 16 cents from Nvidia. Again, because I only own one share. Taking a look at the biggest amount I get is $202.58 from QILD. Next, we have 149 from AGNC and hopefully we can get this O Realty income, which is around $80, closer to that $100 mark. And that is the next company I'm focusing on to get 100 shares into, or at least we're right now trying to get it to 50 and then we'll work our way up from there. Speaking of biggest winners and biggest losers, if we go back to the Robinhood portfolio, we can see, taking a look at my biggest winner over the past month, we can see that it is Google or you know alphabet class c it's up 17.18 percent over the past month and i'm up 10 percent or 107 dollars and 83 cents now i do want to get 100 shares of this company so i can run the wheel strategy on it guys if you don't know what the real wheel strategy is that's an option strategy let me know in the comments below and i will make a video on it either using Robinhood or using the webull platform i really like using the webull platform it's one of my favorites for options now, taking a look at the biggest loser over the past month, guess what? Advisor Pure Cannabis ETF, just like my MJ ETF, is also my biggest loser in my entire portfolio. I'm down about 44% in total, but over the past month, I'm down 10.46%, which doesn't surprise me. And I own, you know, 100 shares of it, of each of these two. And again, if it goes to zero, if both of the marijuana ETFs go to zero, that's not going to bother me at all. Because again, I'm in it for the long term and I still do believe, and I still believe in the cannabis sector in the long haul. Well guys, that is my entire dividend portfolio. We're taking a look at the Robinhood portfolio, it's 25,390 bucks. And then the track your dividends portfolio is 26,420 bucks. That's funny how it's 420 and my biggest loser of last month was a 420 stock. But if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, smash that thumbs up button and hit that little red subscribe button to join this little family we have. Guys, don't forget to go ahead and vote on that community tab post I did a few days ago. Please, it's, feedback is gonna help me out a lot. If you wanna continue your journey with me, go ahead and click one of the videos on the screen. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Peace, love, and prosperity.